Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. I've just been out delivering some fish food and a customer has asked me if I wanted to see his pond and I'm well impressed. Just take a look at this. Absolutely gorgeous looking pond here. Uh, this is the first time that I've been to see this pond in about probably 10 years and it's absolutely looking beautiful absolutely beautiful customer has done a fantastic job of incorporating plants into a koi pond it's even got some lilies the water is absolutely crystal clear the plants are thriving the fish are really happy and looking super healthy He's even made his own skimmer systems. Now the customer doesn't want to go on camera. He's a little bit shy, so I've promised him we won't show his face on the camera. But I'll just ask him a few questions and he can tell us about the pond. So, how long have you been keeping fish for? About 25 years now. Yeah. I came here about 10, 12 years ago. And was it half the size? Half the size then, yeah. Yeah, so you've doubled the size of the pond. It finished at this post. It finished here. And then, did you use a new liner, completely fresh liner? Yeah, new liner, bought from you. About to use a wheelbarrow to get it to the car. It's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. So this pond must be, how long is it? 32 foot, the longest point. 32 foot wide. 10 foot across. 10 foot across, and it's deep as well, isn't it? Six and a half foot at the deepest point, yeah. It's really nice. I'm really impressed with this. And you've got bottom drains. Yep, just one bottom drain, one four inch. So the bottom drain feeds through into here, where the filter system is. And just wait till you see this. This is really impressive. The customer has actually made his own filtration system. Turn the light on. And it's all in here, it's all in this garage that's been purpose made for the filter. Now, as I understand it, the bottom drains are feeding into this DIY vortex. Uh, that's got two pipes that take the clean water through into this brush chamber. It's made out of a cold water header tank. It is amazing how you've used all this stuff. And then it goes through into here, where, what have you got in this tank? Japanese matting stacked horizontal with the uh, white fluff filter wool on top. That's for the clarity, isn't it? Yeah. It's incredibly clean. Do you do a lot of maintenance on this? Not a lot. It needs cleaning through every four days, roughly. The brushes and a new piece of filter floss to go on. Yeah. So from that tank, You've then got, whereabouts is it, which direction does it go then? Through the back there. Straight out the back. Into here, two pipes at the far side bring the water in. And then it goes all the way down, and it's got to come up with these two pipes before it can, it's got to travel all the way through the media, because there's a grilling at the bottom and a void of about four inches, so everything's got to travel to the void to come back out of that particular you, chamber. You've made all this yourself and designed it all yourself? Yeah. But this has got, K1, K1 in it. K1 in it, trapped underneath that grill, yeah. Trapped underneath that, because normally the K1 would normally try and rise up and float, but he's trapped it under this grill. And how do you clean that out? I just let the, take the grill off and swill it round. So you take let the grill off, off let everything starts sort of stirring up. up. And then just let all the water out of the chamber. I just can't believe how clear this water is. Absolutely crystal clear, this water. And then more tanks. Yep, uh, biological chambers. So you've got a big tank full of flow core. Yep. And then a alpha grog tank on that side. Wow, this, this is really impressive. And then finally, a chamber with a Japanese uh, matting cartridge in there with your aerating. There's quite a lot of filtration on this pond, as you can see, but clearly it's working amazingly well. 
And then we have your store that you made. Now this thing here, this is something that about 12 years ago, I think it might even be more than 12 oh, years God, ago. Just, yeah. This was on my ponder tome and he decided I didn't need it anymore. So we donated this and it's come here. It's made out of a uh, rain collection tub and it's a trickle tower. So you get mega efficient biological filtration in there. Do you have to do much with this, is no, it? No, don't touch it at all. I've never emptied it. You've never emptied it? No, I've never had it to pieces <laughs> since I brought it off. In more than 10 years? Oh, it's got to be more than that. It's about 15, I think. Wow. I, I'm, I'm so impressed, honestly. Then you've got your UV. Yep. Now this UV, is that, is the UV on the return then, going yeah, on the way through. back? Yeah, so the pumps, variable pump, pumping through a 55 watt straight back to the cascade uh, uh, at, at, at the end of the pond. Wow, I'm really impressed with this. Um, this thing is a anti-blanket weed, weed thing. Weed, but, yeah. Does it work or? Not sure. Not sure. You yeah. still have to use blanket answer as well. It doesn't do it on its own. So I've been using this blanket answer on a regular basis. Yeah. It is a good treatment, that. And now the this sludge answer to, to clear it away. This sludge stuff, a lot of people don't bother with that, but you, you seem to think it does the job, don't I you? I do, yeah. I've had that start to go white again in the past when it's been blocked, the uh, filter floss. Yeah. The filter wool. I've seen it, bits of it going white again. Can hear the thunder now. Yeah. Hope it's not going to start chucking it down. So you design these skimmers yourself, DIY skimmers? Yep. Two buckets the same size, I cut one in half, in there there's a grill with holes drilled in it, and then basically there's a pump with a pipe, elbow um, tank connector in the bottom with a elbow pipe to a pump, and I'm with you. put the two together, and then if you turn them, it, you can control the speed that the water is brought in. Right. And that's working really effectively, yeah. isn't it? It keeps the top really clean. I'm impressed with this. And that's again just a piece of filter wool from your place. All right, stuff. Look. And how does that? How is that held down? Is it just you know, on? You place? know what you put lace curtains up with? A curtain wire, yeah. yeah just a curtain wire in to, to to stop it from all floating up. So then the bucket, is there like a weight in the bottom of the bucket? Yeah, I've got a few stones in the bottom of the bucket as well, yeah. And the pump is sucking the water, water out of the bottom it. of that bucket, through that grill. Yep. It's it. working brilliantly. And you've had some of these fish a long time. Yep, some of them have had over 20 years now. Gosh. The big ogans, definitely. Is that one of the uh, first fish that you got? Yeah. I just went for straight colours to start with. And then yeah. as I got more knowledge of when I started getting the multicoloured fish. What's your favourite fish in here, if you've that got a favourite? Big Ogan there. Yeah. I just can't believe how clear the water is. Absolutely gin clear the water. And there's no algae, not a patch of algae on the side of the tank. It's absolutely gorgeous. Obviously these plants, they will be taking up some of the nutrients, they'll be taking up some of the nitrates and phosphates and what have you, and that'll be helping to maintain um, the, the algae. But what is really nice about it is the way that you've incorporated the plants with the koi, because a lot of people try to do that and they just have problem after problem with the fish, pulling them out of the pots. What we do to start with is we've put brick ties underneath the coping stones. And if you can see, this one's right. got one on this one. If you look down there, you'll be able to see the brick tie. Yep. Tie some nylon rope to that to a filter brush and it goes round the plant to protect it when it's first put in. 
Okay. And then I'm when, liking that. when the plant gets established, we just put the nylon line round between these two to stop the fish getting behind the tubs and pushing them off. So you're actually using a brush, a, a filter, filter brush, brush in front as of, a barrier to stop the fish getting to them. That's why impressive. they get established. I think it's absolutely lovely. We've not fed them. Have you got any food to chuck in for them or? Probably already fed him a few times today. <coughs> yeah, your food's going straight into your skimmer. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to say bye now because it's about to chuck it down. And I'd like to say thank you very much to the customer as well for letting me film the pond. Lovely pond. Really appreciate you letting me come round.